Hello and welcome to our fifth tutorial entitled Lights. Here we will show you everything you need to know about putting light in your map. We will also explain the entities and functions. Choose the Entity tool and select the Entity Light from your drop down menu. The Entity Light is a point light or as well an invisible light source and projects light in every direction. With help from input and outputs, the light can be switched on or off. Click in the 3D view and then point to where you want to put the entity. Here we have placed it in the middle of the room. With a double click on the light bulb, we can open the options for the entity. When the entity is selected, we also have the possibility in the 2D view to open the options with a right click on the object and open the properties. When the window properties is open, you have some options to play with. Let's start with name or target name. This is the name of the entity that you can freely choose. When you have given your entity a name, it can be connected to the input output system. Under brightness, as in the other tutorials before, you can change the color and the light intensity. The first three numbers are the RGB color worth, and the higher the worth, the brighter the light, but not every color works well with this so experimentation is needed. The same goes with lighting effects such as intermittent lighting or pulsed lighting. You should also experiment with these. Custom appearance gives you another effect whereby the appearance isn't maxed out. Together with the letters A and Z, A standing for dark and Z standing for full brightness, this only functions when the entity has a name. And now, the bit that I always hated. Constant, linear and quadratic. These three words are the intensity of the light fall distance, 50% of the distance and 0% of the fall of distance. But remember, if the distance is at 0%, nothing will happen other than an unrealistic set of results. Entity to point at defines on which of the entities the light should fall on. Simply call up the name of your entities, but in this case we will keep our standard settings. The last in this list is maximum distance. This is to give the furthest distance your light will affect. Now we have finished with the light entities, the most of which are boring. Now you can play around with that a while, but we're still not finished yet. There are lots of other entities and types now we will go on to light spot entity. With this entity you can create lots of light styles. So if you place lamps, beams or lanterns in your map you should definitely try this entity. To show you an example we will place a spotlight on the map. Choose the entity prop static. Put in the position you would like it to be in and open the model browser. Go to the filter and choose light. Here you will see lots of types of lights. We will use the floodlight or light stroke floodlight 02 stroke off dot MDL. When the model is on the map, put the light spot entity on the chosen point of the model. With a double click on the light spot entity, you can open the option for this entity. They are very similar to the light entity. The only difference is the pitch, yaw and roll. In a bright angle and outer fading angle. Pitch, yaw and roll we talked about in our last tutorial. With pitch, yaw and roll you can direct the light where you want it. With manual values such as X, Y and Z. Or you can use the point act function and drag and drop on the particular point you want. The function pitch virtually has the same function. Here you can input the numbers 0 to 90, the direction of the light being 0 horizontal and 90 vertical. When you use 0, the result is a diffuse light with a visible point of emission, the result being that the shadows cast by players and objects should barely be seen. Inner bright angle gives you the radius of the light cone, at this point the light is at its brightest. The outer fading angle gives you the outer radius of the light cone. This will obviously be darker in light strength. 
This gives you a better end result. And now back to our construction. We have a world model and a light spot. Now we want to point the light beam on a particular point. So now we use the pitch, yaw and roll and place the light beam using the point at function. Now click apply and close the options window. So now we have created a light spot, but we can still do more. When you add the light spot and the following point spot light in the same direction and at the same point, to save CPU resources, activate under flags, start on and no dynamic light. Now click on apply and you're finished. Another tip for better results would be the entity funk dash dust motes. Add this to the light spot that gives you a nice in-game effect. Another nice light combination is the entity light with light spot. With this you're using four entities at the same time. In one prop static on your world model that's one light spot, one light and one point spot light entity. The combination would be built in this way. Choose in the entity list prop static and in the filter light or lamp. Now before you you have the most used lights or beams etc. Choose one of them and put it on the map. We will use the model prison-lamp001alpha.mdl. You can find this by putting the word lamp in the filter. Now we put the light spot in the middle of the model. Changing the options of the model are not necessary. Next add the point spot light and place this also in the middle of the model and use the point at. With this the floor and not the ceiling will be lit as it should be. Lastly place the entity light just under the spot and we are finished. In game you will find a professional looking light effect. Try this for yourself. Well that's it for this time. Now you should have a good basis on how to build lights using the source engine. With a little experimentation you should get some fantastic results. Have fun! For more information and tutorials visit our website and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for listening. Until next time.